Hello, this is Cuckoo, and I'm right here at the NAMM Show 2019 at Strymon's booth. And I'm fortunate enough today to be talking to one of the, of the key developers and, and designers at Strymon. Hello. Hi, how are you doing, Cuckoo? What's your name? Uh, my name is Pete. I am, yeah, I am one of the uh, 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 Strymon guys. I do the uh, sound design and the DSP algorithm design for the, uh, for the Strymon pedals. When you say I do it, it sounds like you might be one of the very few people doing it. Um, for Is it a small company? Uh, yes, uh, the, uh, we're a small company, um, a small engineering team. We have fairly uh, kind of uh, dedicated uh, areas that we specialize in. For most of the products, I'm the, uh, the sole uh, DSP algorithm and sound designer. And on Volante, I was the sole uh, algorithm and, and uh, uh, sound designer as well. Wow, I, uh, I, I listened to the Volante, to the demonstration you put out on YouTube, and I felt this, yeah, I'm always drawn to your product because of the, the beauty of them. There is some, like, an understanding of the beauty of sound that shines through everything that you do. So that's why I'm here today, to, to have a talk with you. Well, uh, thanks very much, Those, that's, that's high praise. I really appreciate that. Yeah, and uh, like the only thing I actually own by you, that's the, the blue sky. I just wanted uh, like a simple uh, foolproof reverb that always sounds beautiful. Uh, but I've been eyeing the big sky for a long time thinking, I, yeah, I really, sh I really should have. I, I, uh, I uh, agree with that. I think you should uh, uh, give big, big sky a shot. You'd probably uh, be able to spend a lot of time uh, and have a lot of fun in the process. Yeah, how how did it come about the Big Sky? Um, the Big Sky we had introduced, uh, well, El Capistan, um, and then about a year later we introduced the Timeline, which was a, uh, a multi-algorithmic um, delay with uh, you know uh, presets and, and you know menu parameters and, and kind of a, you know an expanded deeper exploration into delays. And so it, it was like a natural progression that from our uh, blue sky pedal, we would create a, uh, a reverb pedal that was multi-algorithmic with uh, presets and menus. And, and uh, it, uh, just as Timeline did for our delays, Big Sky allowed us to uh, create you know, new algorithms, you know, new, uh, new reverb uh, you know, expressions in a sense. Um, which was a, a lot of fun uh, to, to develop because when you're doing reverbs, you're you're really um, you know a lot a large part you know once you get past the halls and plates and rooms, you're kind of now into uh, very much more purely creative uh, endeavors where you're kind of trying to chase or create sounds that that you're um, are, have imagined and um, you're not concerned about uh, you know some of the uh, physical realities that you are in, in the more traditional reverb styles you're now trying to to create uh, you know reverbs that can uh, you know take you to, to uh, places that might have been only imagined yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that it's such a beautiful motivation and has got to have a I mean the the journey there I'm sure it's not straight but I'm sure you have like tons of uh, of happy accidents along the way that maybe you save for future products. Yeah, that's that's absolutely true. It, it's it's a very uh, um, it, yeah, it's a winding journey, and uh, and sometimes it can be frustrating, but uh, it also can be very re rewarding. And and ultimately, there there are many things that are discovered along the way that um, can find their their way into other aspects of the work. I, I'm a. Um, I've been talking to another developer uh, of um, an instrument called the Continuum Fingerboard, which is um, an expert on shark programming. And then someone told me that these are all shark-based as well. And I assume, just by listening to them, I assume that you, you really take advantage of that platform. It is a platform specifically designed for audio, isn't it? Yes. Uh, yes, we... Uh we started uh, developing on the Shark uh, because it, it, we created a platform that uh, made it uh, easy to 
make explorations and uh, try ideas uh, in ways that can be done efficiently. So because, as you say, happy accidents are sometimes the accidents aren't as happy, but you, 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 you need to be able to, uh, you know, have the, the freedom and the efficiency to try things that may ultimately not pan out. You don't want to spend, you know, an undue amount of time and uh, just to find out that what you're doing was not where you wanted to go. So um, we've got a platform where it becomes very easy for me to kind of, you know, stretch my imagination and try things and sometimes uh, they don't work out and, uh, you know, it's, I don't feel like I've wasted time in the process. Yeah, that's great. Uh, and now you're releasing this new one called Volante, which to me, now after talking to you, it sounds like Maybe this is like the delay uh, uh, counterpart to what the Big Sky was to, to reverb. Well, um, the, the timeline is actually the uh, Big Sky counterpart. But uh, Volante, yeah, Volante kind of sits in between uh, El Capistan and uh, Timeline. Its, it's relation to El Capistan is um, it, uh, it doesn't have a, a menu. Um, they're, they're not, uh, uh, it, it's, it's not, uh, there, there are three different voices in it, but uh, it's not, um, the algorithms aren't uh, radically different as, as they are in the, the timeline in a sense. So it's, but it's very full featured and we've, uh, you can see with the, the knobs and the buttons, um, they're, uh, it's, we've tried to put all the functions immediately accessible uh, on a knob so that it, it uh, you know, invites, you know, grabbing a knob and, and turning it and experimenting and uh, coming up with sounds without, um, you know, without knowing that there's hidden parameters that you might have to go into a menu to find. And, um, you know, it's just uh, some people are comfortable in, in either uh, world, but what we wanted to do was to create a, a delay with many sonic possibilities, but that was... Um, uh, done with you know with knobs and, and, and tactile uh, control um, as opposed to um, something that you need to you know go into a, a screen and, and, and look at a menu. Yeah, that's that's great. Uh, I was checking it out yesterday just briefly, and uh, then I noticed there there is actually a, a quite extensive MIDI implementation as well. Yes, uh, we have the standard uh, MIDI in and out uh, connectors, but we also have a USB connector which will, uh, you can do MIDI over USB, and our expression pedal also uh, uh, will do a full, uh, full MIDI. So, um, so it's, a, uh, it's part of the, the way to bridge the gap to say, um, you know, you, it's, it's what you see is what you get. You have, a, you have a knob per function, but at the same time, you, uh, for someone with a, with a MIDI switching uh, control, you, can, you could store 300 presets that are, wow. you know, would be uh, accessible through a MIDI program change. You know, all parameters um, are, uh, have, have a MIDI, um, you know, uh, MIDI command associated with them as well. Um, so that really, you know, if, uh, you really can take advantage of, of some of the wide range of sounds. And even without MIDI or any other external hardware, uh, you can save eight uh, presets on, on Volante. So uh, uh, yeah. you don't have to have uh, a, a MIDI rig to do that. So, uh, Cool. Yeah. yeah it'd be great to, to, to listen to the new Volante. Maybe you could just walk us through uh, some of your hidden gems. Sure. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll uh, take... Uh, take my time and experiment myself after that. Absolutely. All right. Sure. I'm back off a bit. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Thank you so much. I think it was so beautiful. I think it clearly showcased that it's it's not just a pedal that you leave on one setting, but you can totally move around in real time and do creative work with it. Yeah, that's that's the the hope is that people will be uh, you know um, motivated to uh, experiment and you know come up with. Uh, there's so many uh, you know different sounds and things you can do with it that you know we're we're excited for people to you know uh, you know come up and find their own sound and do their own thing with it. That truly, yeah, I'm uh, stoked. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm looking forward to hear what you, I'm looking forward to hear what you're gonna do with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now I feel the pressure after this lovely, lovely moment here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna connect my OPZ. It's a tiny synth, and uh, and see what I come up with. Excellent. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Yeah, hey, thanks very much. All right, so I'm just gonna improvise a bit on the OPZ and the uh, volante. And maybe I'll try to kick this in and uh, yeah, see what happens. Sounds absolutely beautiful.
Something like that. Uh, yeah, I think this thing, this thing, really sings. Whatever you throw at it, it, it just sings. Uh, yeah, I love it. Uh, yeah, I want it. <laughs>